Let's pick it up here. Good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of composing in Pentatonic Parallel Part 13, Brass Tacks. In today's stream, Brass Tacks means getting down to details using our new scales. We have a lot of scales that we've been developing over this composing series. There they are. So we did some ideas and today our goal was to start out with using the shadow common, uncommon, and bright note scales, which between them cover all 12 notes of the 12 tone scale. What actually happened is we created a six line, six bar structure, which is over here. And we wrote a story to go with it. For example, the sun comes out and then two clouds show up. And we actually completed six lines using all the scales. Many of the melody figures that we composed in the last stream, these are the melody figures, all these things, a lot of them. And um, then we had some interesting f ways to figure out how to squeeze it into six bars each. So the key reflection is in this s composition, brass tacks, we said we're not going to do any cadences. We're everything is a melodic figure. Now the trick is a melodic figure is a horizontal interval. Every time you change from one note to another, like F to G flat, there's an interval. It's just that the interval is going sideways. And instead of playing trichords, which we've done a lot in our series, stacked on top of each other, that's a vertical uh, interval. Now we're doing everything horizontally for this composition. At some point, we come back and say, now that we have a horizontal intervals, and we want, if we want to add another line to this composition, cadences, we would look to these phrases here and figure out what cadences we might want to put in there as we go deeper. However, today our scope was pure melodic elements. So the story we came up with is the sun comes out and it's all bright, and then a cloud and another show up between us on earth and the sky. And so we start off here with the bright scale, then we bring in the light full scale, which is cloud one, and the dark full scale, which is cloud two. And as we've already discussed, we say those are projecting shadows. They're what gets in the way of the 12 tone scale. So now we see one shadow and another, and where they overlap, the shadows are darker, and where they don't, they are lighter. And that is part two, and that's where we start using the common shadow scale, which is where they overlap, and the uncommon scale, which is where only one or the other is shining on the ground. And they're still bright between the lighter and darker shadows, so we keep putting the bright scale in there. Part three. So now we watch the interplay between lights and darks. And here we, we broke out and started using the dark minor, light minor, where are we, part three. Um, and the dark major, light major, uh, and, and we, this is where we started taking advantage of all the variations, like this scale begins on a neutral, and the same scale begins on the root, and they sound very different, and by using the two of them we get a nice variation even though they're both dark minors. The brights keep nudging us to a 10, so we keep having brights kind of poking us in here. Part four, our attention wanders and images arise of dreams past and future and ideas yet to be. And so here we go back and it's the full shadow scale, nothing but full shadow. And oh my God, look at all these annotations of the notes. This is the shadow full scale, nine note scale with all the neutrals and without neutrals and we actually started using the rolls and the and the hops that we finished working on in the, in the last stream. 
So that's the shadow where the dreams are. Part 5. Issues and problems contend for attention. And this is where we, we start using more of the, uh, let me come down to where that is. Part 5. Part 5. Here it is. So we're still using the full shadow scale, but now we're starting to do uh, roles and things. And then, and then, and we as directors conduct the symphonies. So right around in here, we start to kind of turn it around and make the, where it starts and ends on the roles uh, and on more positive notes. We start with the urge notes. We start on the Bs and, and the B flats, which are urge notes like this. And then we start coming around to where it kind of gets to where it's more neutral. So, and that leads us to part six with Roars of Acclaim, music's build to their ends, and then we wake to the brightness, moving forward refreshed. So that's our story. Basically, you fall asleep on a Sunday day watching the clouds and have dreams and roll around a bit figuring stuff out in our dream world and we wake up refreshed and, and ready to go again. So that's the story. So let's listen to all six parts. We'll turn the mic off for this. This is Brass Tacks. So that concludes today's stream. Uh, ideas for next steps are, um, we, we still find ourselves editing these lines because they're almost a poem. And uh, some of them scan really well and others could use a little tweaking. So it's an idea to edit that. Uh, explore a music visualization with our visualization tool. Visualization tool. Uh, backbones, chords, beats, the drums. Um, so thank you as always for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. Look forward to seeing you in our next episode. And as always, keep on streaming. <laughs>